This year's Christmas has a unique meaning of hope for people in Tigray as it's celebrated after two years in a war and amid the signing of peace deal between the governments of Tigray and Ethiopia. On their holiday's message, Tigrayan religious leaders call for an immediate implementation of the signed peace agreement as many civilians are still suffering from the consequences of the war and the atrocities that are still being committed by Eritrean troops. <laughs> People in Tigray have paid dearly for the past three years, but this one seems a little better for some of us. It has been more than two months since a peace deal was signed between the government of Tigray and Ethiopia. But still, there are many who do not see any change in their lives as their villages are still controlled by external forces. For many, the current situation is even worse than the past as the killings and lootings are still continuing. According to the religious leaders, IDPs in Tigray are still suffering from lack of basics as they couldn't be able to return to their homes safely due to the presence of external forces in Tigray. Moreover, millions are still remaining displaced and forced to live under unbearable psychological trauma as they are always longing to return back to their normal lives. Those IDPs are leading a horrible life wherever they are as they are forced to live without getting enough food, medicine and shelter. Elders, women and children are still suffering from a harsh cold of December the day he came to this world in Bethlehem. It is good that peace agreement is reached between the governments of Tigray and Ethiopia to save the people. As religious institutions, we have been calling for this and we strongly support it. However, we are still expecting for the full implementation of the signed peace deal on the ground. Basic services such as banking system and transportation are not still resumed in many parts of Tigray yet. So we need the implementation of all that was signed in the agreement. External forces should leave the territories of Tigray so the IDPs could be able to return to their home safely. We are calling for the two governments mutually work on the immediate implementation of the signed peace deal. The religious leaders also call all Ethiopians to support the signed peace deal in order to achieve a lasting peace in the country. <laughs> This little mark of peace we have achieved now is only settling. So we need to water it so that it can grow. We need to cultivate it so that it can flourish. And we need to look after it so it can bear fruit.